Hello, my friend. All right, so I landed yesterday, Monday, in Langkawi, Malaysia. I was really, really tired. Still very, very tired right now. It's around 2. Went to the gym in the morning. Yes, still go to the gym. And then I had breakfast at Starbucks. I'm not a Starbucks person at all, but it was my only option at that moment. Um, yeah, and then I've taken a shower. It's so hot outside. So... Now I'm going to try and, it's not so hot, but it's just like humid. So I'm going to go to the beach and get lunch and dinner and then come back. I'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll just get lunch and then get dinner here. So I just had a little smoothie for lunch. I don't like smoothies, but this is okay. I prefer fruit in the natural if this is lunch then I'm gonna go have dinner um, in one of the restaurants that I saw yesterday coming in or we shall see this is also cool, making my brain cool it's a little bit busy, I think it's gonna rain To take a nap less than an hour it didn't, it didn't last long i used to take two hour naps but now i can't do that anymore i actually don't like taking naps anymore but i had to my body wanted to it was so hot and i was so tired when i was out yeah now i'm gonna go get dinner i want chinese dinner so i saw a chinese restaurant yesterday coming in i'm gonna walk over there could be 15 minutes i think it's gonna be worth it i hope it's safe feel safe Anyway, um, let me go get my food. Okay, so this is my Chinese dinner. How am I supposed to finish this fish by myself? I will try. I use an app called Grab to get a taxi. I'm the only person in the taxi. You know what we call these? 15 seaters. Yeah, I'm the only person here. I'm the whole in the taxi. But my grandma says when I get people on the way, I want to see that. If not, then I feel like real. Nope, outside the thing. Oh, outside yes. Uh, is it a girl or a boy? <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Are they hungry? Do they always eat? Okay, so I just met my fellow South African. Yeah. yeah, this is. <laughs> Wanda. Wanda. Oh, Jesus, you didn't say that to me. What, what was I your didn't name? even introduce myself. You did say, you know, Wanda. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is? Sherry. Sherry. And you guys have been in China for? Almost a year now. Mm -hmm. Almost a year. We met in, where is this? Kuala Lumpur. Ku no. no, it's Langkawi. Oh, Langkawi. <laughs> <laughs> we met in Langkawi. At the, at, this, at the crocodile place. Mm -hmm. I think they are cool. This is salty. Try this, try the sauce. The sauce is nice. The chicken one? Uh,
so day two went pretty crazy amazing crazy in a good way met up with two south african girls at the crocodile park they're amazing no gwanda and sherry i'm so sorry if i'm getting your names wrong but they were great and then yeah just surrounded by nature at the crocodile place can never complain really it was fun we had dinner early dinner i'm still gonna eat and now i'm at the gym and then i'm just gonna go to bed i think i need to do some writing oh my gosh yeah bye guys see you tomorrow I'm at the sky bridge now. If you know me, you know what I'm about to say. <laughs> the beauty of God. It is absolutely amazing. This is the sky bridge. I'm 100% sure that I'm not doing the gym tonight. Because why did I just hike unexpectedly? I'm also not wearing sneakers, so wrong day to hide. My food is great, now let's go to the 3D museum to see what's up with that, because apparently it's reactive or something like interactive. Not reactive so let's go see that part this is like a great place because you get to do loads of stuff in one spot so for people who are wondering the sky cap is not just a sky cap it's like a bunch of stuff so you can come here and So my day's finished. I had a really, really beautiful day. I ended up um, just having dinner here at the hotel because everything just, when I tried to look for food, it just, it just seemed greasy. It smelled greasy and I didn't feel like eating greasy food. So I opted for hotel food. I had Cantonese cuisine, which is so good, noodles. And then now I'm gonna go to bed. I am so tired. My feet are killing me. I don't know how people wear sleepers because I feel like if I had worn sneakers, then I would not have sore feet right now. But everything was just so good. I went and saw the sunset at the beach and I sat there for a bit and I met up with some people and I chatted with them a little bit. It's just like a very wholesome, beautiful day. And it's crazy because I didn't want to go anymore. I was so tired and not feeling well in the morning. I think I wake up dehydrated. So, yeah, I just feel so. Today is Friday, day four, I think. And I'm going to the underwater world. I was not feeling well in the morning. I think it's because it was extremely hot. So fortunately the underwater world is a walking distance from my hotel which worked out fine because I'm late again. It's around 1. Like a snake is just gonna jump 
about it. Like, what is going on? I've never used an aquarium that looks real. Like you're like this, like a snake is gonna jump out or a monkey. I'm looking for a souvenir. I've become a souvenir person, especially for my fridge. I just enjoy that having stuff on my fridge to remind me that I've been to places. Um, yeah, so I bought one from the crocodile place, which I think should be a souvenir enough. Malaysia, but I might get something else here. Maybe for my desk and work as well. Let's see. Okay, so I'm done with shopping. I got Lay's and water because I have been missing chips, but here they just don't have chips that I want. I don't know. It's their own local ones that I don't, I didn't feel like trying. So, and also I just remembered why I don't really like shopping. Because I don't like being persuaded and I don't like letting, I be feeling like I let the person, the salesperson down. It just makes me feel awful. So, yeah, but that's done. And now I am looking for some place. forgot what it's called. Let me check my phone again. After this place, then I'm going back to my hotel. Then I'll go see the sunset at the beach. My life goes like a dream right now. So I sort of got lost. I was supposed to go somewhere else and then I ended up next to my place again because I just called it Eric instead of taxi. Grab. Irritable, but I'm about to have late lunch or lunch it's 3 almost 3 15 so that's still lunch i guess late lunch yeah and my view is to the ocean I've got got vegetables as well. Because vegetables are so important. And I haven't been eating a lot of vegetables here. But the food doesn't really come with vegetables. I don't know. So this is good. I'm happy. to go home and I thought I was done with everything but I went to Google Square. This is free entry. I also forgot to withdraw money because I don't know I'm used to this phone system but it was free to enter here. I only have one hundred ring it. So if this is my final time recording then I want to close this video by saying that Malaysia is so cool it is it's so hot though so like if you don't like too much of the heat like I brushed today but it's not un <laughs> to be honest it's unbearable but like you can live with it because the country is so beautiful Langkawi I mean Langkawi um, I was scammed one time by a taxi driver uh, apparently that happens a lot with tourists but then getting grabbed did help a lot the food a little bit salty for me like the Malaysian cuisine I feel like some of it was really cool but like some of it was salty and spicy um, the people I feel like the people are very friendly a bit ambiguous in terms of safety nothing has happened of course I haven't heard of anything as well but I'm not sure what it's like here where safety is concerned and just the locals they're very nice though 
every taxi driver was really really nice I rode with was very nice um, the hotel was really cool they cleaned but the Asian standard of course I think cleaner than that other country that I live in 100% cleaner um, what else everything is a little bit ex cheap but expensive the ring it is powerful than the yen but at the same time I didn't feel like I spent a lot of money I, I spent a very reasonable amount of money I wasn't buying a lot of stuff I was just buying food otherwise yeah I'd definitely come back here it's so peaceful it's so beautiful I definitely am rejuvenated didn't rest much I'm flying off tomorrow um, if I do record other stuff after this then I'll just put them before this closing because I don't want to do another closing yeah definitely you should come if you're considering it I did so much I'm surprised because my lazy self sometimes I don't want to do stuff but then what's the point of going to a country and not being able to see like the whole thing so yeah that's why I just decide if I'm traveling not that I've traveled much but she's about to start traveling aggressively in the 20s we were saving and getting our lives together in the 30s early 30s we might just travel a little bit for a bit at all I don't know whatever happens but I want to travel more so yeah thank you guys for watching love you so much bye happy to report that the beach has grown on me I could come here every sunset because what? so pretty imagine waking up to this every day I don't know if people who live in such places where tourists like to go people like to go if they are as thrilled about the places as we are but Jesus, this is so beautiful. It's a little bit packed now. More people. It's Friday also, maybe that's why. Right.